hello Daps here welcome to my youtube channel in this video i want to show you real quick a challenge i have on my blog i wanted to fix it so i just thought i could just do a video around it to show you how to fix this so i was designing this blog and in my last video i was trying to show you how you can create a free course with lift lms and that's what i want to show you right now so if you hit this button here at the menu free course it will bring you to this page here where i just designed uh this course here in my last video you can see we did we designed this in our last video so this is a bit a free course that uh people can enroll here but where i really have issue right now is that if you check my url you see that this page is loading index.php before you can get course and free course and that's crazy uh it's not something we really want on our website uh so if you come to about page you see that's the same thing instead of this url to load i blogging com slash about is loading index.php uh, before about so if you have this issue right now i just want to show you how to solve that uh, real quick before i just go into that if you want to do more with your wordpress you want to learn how to get free courses and so many things with your wordpress then you should hang in here i do videos every now and then around wordpress teaching people how things work so hang in here and let's let's do things together subscribe to this youtube channel uh hit that notification bell and you'll be notified when i keep posting awesome videos and so that's it so let's come back to our wordpress dashboard basically the reason why we have this is because we didn't set our permalink structure so if you come to settings and you come to permalinks you would see uh where we have this issue uh, so you can see uh we have custom structure and you can see that this is what our structure is like our structure is index.php there's year there's month uh day then post names some themes when you install them uh the permalink structure is set to post name directly uh some will come with plain some might come with uh a custom structure so you have to come here to set your permalinks i would always advise that you go with the general post name Post name is simple, direct to the point, and it will help SEO. Once you do this, you come down here and you hit the save changes button. And that's it. You have that problem solved. So if we come back here and we come to our own page. Yeah, it's loading uh, well and I come to my course page right now. So you can see index.php is gone and my page is back to normal that's it guys that's how to remove the index.php file from your url uh this will give you so much headache if you don't know where to get this done thank you very much for watching this video i hope it, this video has been useful if it has give me a thumbs up uh then let me know in the comment section that this has helped you i'll see you in my next video bye for now